Introducing from Juneau, Alaska, he weighs 255 pounds. Meet Black Bart. Black Bart. His opponent from Moosehead, Maine, at 350 pounds. Golden Moose, Chola, Chola. Referee Percy Franklin. Well, the introductions have been made. Black Bart is going against the Golden Terror, Golden Moose Sholak, who weighs 325 pounds, stands six feet four inches in height. Black Bart is from Juneau, Alaska, weighs 260 pounds, six five in height. Has a beard and originally went to Alaska as a prospect. He's been wrestling now for six or seven years and originally came from Chicago. There's the moose being taken down with a flying mare. The golden moose Sholak on wrestling champions with Black Bart from Juneau, Alaska. Sholak wearing that very unusual ear guard. There you got a good look at it. That is strictly a protective ear guard. Bart almost slipped under the lower rope and right off the ring. Sherlock is an all-around uh, athlete. He attended the University of Wisconsin, played on the Badger football team for two years, and after leaving college, wrestled around Chicago. In 62, he made a trip to the Far East and did quite a bit of wrestling in Japan. In fact, he beat the Japanese champion in Tokyo. There's the moose. Moose Sholak. This match to one fall with a curfew time limit. Well, when a guy that weighs over 300 Three pounds stomps on you, you really feel it. Three minutes left to the bout. Three minutes left. Oh, the moose really went sailing there. Black Bart, a little work with those knees. Now the moose takes him down, but not for long. The moose hails from South Chicago. Black Bart going to work on that left foot of his. And the moose falls right in the corner, right above us here. You know, we were. Two minutes, two minutes. We've got left. a lot of fans watch this show over at Flint, Michigan, and I understand they've got a great wrestling team this year, college wrestling team at Michigan State. One of the best in the Big Ten in recent years. There's a man being hurt. Bart with that step over toe hold and putting plenty of pressure on the Golden Moose Sholak. Sprawled out there in the corner. Now the referee breaks it.
Moose in the corner. And Black Bart working on that left leg again. Right now it's just sort of a twist. There is one minute left in the bout. One, one minute, minute left go. in the bout. One minute left. Moose wiggles away and gets under the ropes and the referee will now break it. Sholak on the move, staying away right now from Black Bart, his opponent from Juneau, Alaska. Last match on a great card tonight on wrestling champions from Chicago. Now the boys are busy throwing right hands here now in the closing seconds of this match. There's the bell. There is a bell. It is all over. And the referee finally is able to break them. Now they're going to it again. Well, let's get into the ring now to Dick Elliott, the ring announcer for the announcement. The curfew time having been reached, neither contestant getting a fall. It is a draw between Black Bart and Big Moose Cholak. A draw. So the decision in the match between Black Bart and the Golden Moose Sholak, the match is declared a draw. Fans, this is 300 pounds of wrestling dynamite, the Golden Moose Sholak. Right, Bob, how are you tonight? Well, all right, Moose. Now listen, I heard Rogers here popping off that he's taking all comers. Why, the fans out there know that he's ridiculous. That I, he never wrestled me. He's afraid to wrestle me. I am the WWA champion, and he is nothing. If he had any guts, he'd wrestle me, but he stays away from me because he know that he'd be in a hospital the next day. You know, I was saying tonight, you're the champion of Japan, too. Why don't you claim that? You beat the champ over in Tokyo. Well, I, that's right, Bob. I am the WWA champion. They recognize me throughout the world, India, Rome, England, and Paris, and all over. Promoters, I am, have telegrams from all over the world to defend my title, but I want them people to recognize the title here in Chicago and through the east here, and they don't do it because there's some guy like Rogers or somebody else, but I am the genuine champion. And if I ever wrestle Rogers, they know that the championship is right here. Moose, on the way along, who do you figure you're going to have to beat to get a shot at Buddy Rogers? Well, listen, I think what I What about beat, Kowalski? Listen, I beat everybody around, Kowalski or anybody. I can take him or anybody, and I, I'm unbeaten now in a long time. All I want is recognition throughout the world as the WWA World Wrestling Association champion. Well, you're certainly entitled to a shot at it. You've made a great record for yes, yourself. Yes, tonight here, I didn't have enough time. This lumberjack, he's a pretty fair boy. Juno, Alaska. Juno, Alaska. If I had a little bit more time, I'm sure I'd take him because he's getting weak at the end, and I'm sure I would have took him, but I need a little bit more time. Five, six minutes ain't enough. Well, Moose, I want to wish you lots and lots of luck, and we enjoyed seeing you on the card again tonight. And we hope uh, before very long to see you get a shot at that world title. Okay, fine, Bob. Thank you. Nice to talk with you. That was the Golden Moose Sholak. Who got started, by the way, in his sports career at the University of Wisconsin. Well, that's it for now, fans. This is Bob Elson saying so long until next week on Wrestling Champions, produced by Sports Publicity Institute.